Okay, so um, if we start with just, just high knees, high knees on the spot, okay, coming forward with his high knees, and then he's going to go back with his high knees. Simple drill, the main thing about it is whatever you do forward, generally, you should be able to do backwards. Okay, the nature of Taekwondo, you need to be able to do things forward and backwards, obviously. But every drill, pretty much, so if we go hands behind your back, uh, two feet using the, using the line, and just mini hop, mini hops, mini up, fly hops down either side, good. Being nice and light, and then go backwards. Nice and simple. So using the lines on the, using the, lines on the mats is a brilliant one for me. Okay, I use them a lot because I'm trying to focus on focus people. Obviously, Taekwondo is a fine, a fine skill. Okay, you're looking, you, we are looking at millimeters. So if you're trying to get someone, okay, we'll do pop and stick, pop and pop, pop and stick, going down the line, going down the line. Choose your good leg, down the round, round the line. Yeah. Okay. So we just get them. Okay. This is, this is this is working a little bit of angles. Okay. So this is the prehab that we can add in to your movement preparation. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. And then obviously you change, change your leg. Can do it backwards, okay, depending on what level, depending on you're looking, you're looking at a good level of control. Okay? Go back. Good. There we go. Maybe we just let it still do that backwards. There's no reason why all the, all the young kids can't do stuff like this going back and down forwards. Uh, big, big, big thing for me is the sort of, you know, the, the drills, the drills, what, watching what the Koreans do, they do a lot of, I think that their, their walls are versus like mini speed agility plyometric sessions. Okay, so they're, they're, that's why, one of the reasons that they do things very fast, because they, they don't train slow, they do train fast, okay? Um, I'll demo this one so I don't stitch you, so I don't stitch him up. Again, spins, it's probably in the academy, to be honest, it's probably only sort of three, four people who can actually spin, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely on one of them. So in a simple warm-up drill, just spinning on the line, there you go. spinning on the line with shuffle, Using that line, it's probably still not. It's probably still not everyone in the academy can nail that line. Okay, so obviously the spins are coming in more into uh, into the game. Okay, more points, more points for spins. So just getting people spinning on the line with a little sort of you know with the shuffle in between. Very interesting for me. Obviously balance is a massive thing. Again, if, if, I'm, if, I'm, if you guys are all doing this, I apologise. Uh, hopefully, it's just you know just, just, just trying to throw throw a couple of things out. But I do think getting people spinning or you know, see people with the balance. Okay, you saw your Aaron Cooks, Martin Stampers, they don't miss the line. They literally spin and don't miss the line. It's you know, they, they are rock solid. Okay. That brings me a little bit back to, to sort of stiffness. When we talk about stiffness, stiffness around your ankle is great, so that's why the sort of uh, if you're single, single foot Josh going outside the line. Okay, so again, taking single leg. We're on, we're on one foot a lot of the time, take one leg and back. So body position, you can see you stay, it stays forward, okay? So you, your body angles when you're doing your hops and that, your, your big toe, your knee, your shoulder, that's where you want to be. You don't, you don't want to see people landing, landing back here, ideally. Okay, so you want to look, look at your body positions. You're also looking for stiffness. That stiffness throughout the body is so important to get your, the, 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 your good guys if you look at them or video them, when they it's tough sometimes with the big type one those things to be honest because you can't see you can't see bodies what, what exactly is going on. But if you see people with shorts on when they come training in, in, you know in the week, if you look at the people when they hop, when they hop they're nice and stiff. And basically when I say stiff, there's not much give in the knee and the hip because that, that's gonna be time that we lose. So when you're doing all these little drills at the start, all the hopping drills and that, try and try and try and use stiff, stiff in the core, stiff in their ankles, stiff in the knees is a definite good thing. Because when you're when you when you're moving around, getting kicked, trying to do combinations, when you if you're landing and sinking, okay, that is taking time away, time that you don't you, you don't want to need to attack someone, get out of the way, etc. So being stiff is a real big thing, and I think getting the warmth if you can encourage people to be stiff, okay, uh, massage, just, just massage, massage going forward. Okay, so again, we're working toes up, so toes four shins. Do that back. So just 
just simple drills again, looking at being active, planting his feet on the ground so the sole. It can be nice, it can be, can be sort of soft and a little bit passive, or you can be active as he was, you can actually hear him on the floor. Again, that's a good thing, and he's not, he's not sinking, he's not leaning forward, he's not piking to sort of, you see this, he's being nice and rigid and stiff. Okay, the stiffness is a good thing. You'll see it, the top guys, say so you can't be seen because they've got all the clothes on. Believe me, you sort of get the top guys in the academy, the fastest guys don't, don't move. When they, when they land and kick again, they don't move. They are, they are stiff, that's what you should be trying to encourage. I, I mean, I took one, I've got a little boy, five, went to gymnastics the other night. The, the girl had him jumping off, jumping off sort of a big heavy, um, about, about 60 centimetres, he's only about 90 centimetres, jumping off it onto a crash mat. She's got it landing and he's, he's collapsing. And she's like, no, Josh, come on. Get stiff, land on the chest. He said, get stiff as he makes. So he said, right, so he's landing and nail is landing. So she came over to him. He said, Do you understand? I basically pushed on his shoulders and pushed him so he has to sort of resist, resist that stiffness. And that's what, that's what we're after from all our athletes. So you know, that's you know, teaching that in gymnastics when he's five. That's the sort of stuff. But if you get people do get in bad habits of sinking, you see them skipping. Skipping to great warm up. Okay, I love skipping, move, get people moving around, skipping. Um, side on, etc. But don't let people sink when they skip. You see some people really stiff around their ankles, and you some, see some people it's just a little bit laborious. Okay, you want people to be stiff. Okay, big, big take, big take that message. Um, right, we're going to go on to, go on to feet. Right then, I was going to get everyone to, uh, to get to, to get to the park and take the shoes off. Probably the easiest way of doing it is if Josh does it. <laughs> Right, so what you'll find is the people who aren't very athletic and don't move very well will have, will have this problem, okay? Don't think Josh is going to have it because he's a uh, pretty athletic man. What we're looking for is, the test is big toe, okay? Think about it, all your movement comes from, comes from your feet really comes from your big toe, okay? So, the test is, simple test, my hand against his big toe, and he's pushing his big toe, and I'm, I'm struggling to push back on him, okay? What you'll find is, the people who have weak feet, you'll be able to over overpower their big toe. They should be able to put 80%, 80% of their body weight through that big toe. Okay, so he's, he's nearly under kilos. So he's point, you know, he can put 80, 80 kilos through his toe. So that's plenty of plenty of pressure. And, and I say, you can see the way he moves. If you go to do some plyometrics, he'd be good at jumping. You, you know, generally, that helps. Okay, so, so what I'm trying to sort of reinforce is, it's a simple test to see. You can also see if he stands, if he stands up. Okay, you can see, you can see his arch, and if you guys can see as well, if you just turn around, he's got a good arch in his foot. I would think most people who do Taekwondo should hopefully have feet. Paul Green's got an arch, that high arch is it's like literally like his, his foot is just one of them. See them shoes that people bounce on. His foot is just one of them. So the sort of the, the foot mechanics, foot mechanics uh, and foot strength is really important. So I think if you've got a floor that you can have the kids with the shoes off, training with shoes off is, is perfect. I think you know a lot of people do train with the shoes off. That is the best way. You know the, the, the sort of the tight one their shoes are actually. Actually, not the best for, for getting an, an arch and having strong feet. And obviously, there's no support in them whatsoever. So, another take home message for me is get people's shoes on. Obviously, if you're in a leisure centre and the floor's rock hard, it's all But I still think, just, you know, uh, just do some walking, walking toe toes. Just sort of, just, yeah, just, it's nice and slow. So, it could be as simple as just on, on the spot. Yeah, on the spot. If, if, you, if you press someone's big toe, they can't push you back, they need to be doing this. They need to strengthen their feet, okay? Um, as well, if someone's, yeah, if someone, if someone's standing up, just really quick, if someone's standing up, you want them to have what they call a short foot. A short foot being with an arch like that. If someone has got flat feet, if you get them to, if you get them to put pressure down the outer side of the foot, so if these feet puts pressure there, yeah, you can switch your toes down. Toes down. By, by, by putting pressure here, switching all, all the muscles around his hips, and he's, 
giving himself an arch. So if you had someone who hasn't got any, hasn't got an arch, by actually just putting pressure on the outside of the foot and squeezing, they'll feel, they'll feel heel working a lot, and they'll also see that arch shape. Okay. So again, just just get home. All your athletes are going to think you're a bit of a weirdo. Definitely say you, you'll know it. It'll be obvious. The people who are good movers and athletic, you'll test them. But we know we are Job done. That, that's it. The people who are who are weak in that big toe need need these sort of drills. Definitely need. So it's just walking, walking on the toes. Just throw hands above your head. These are all athletic drills. If you look at, if you put in sort of YouTube foot drills from athletics, again going backwards.
Okay, nice simple exercise. And the progression is sort of straightening the legs, going out further. Okay, maybe coming up straight legs, going all the way down, okay. pushing down. So there's a whole progression again. We'll, we'll give you, we'll give you some, we'll give you some um, uh, progressions on these sort of things. But that's an anti-extension using legs. Don't just do sit-ups. Don't just do sit-ups. Do, 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 do some. Use the legs. Use the legs. That's probably sort of, in, in sort of a short way of saying it. Also, join your side, side back. Double whammy, nice little exercise, and this is a good way. This is a good way of um, seeing if there's any balance from side to side. Side plank for as long as, as long as they can. Okay, so we're looking for a nice, nice straight line and height. So you can you can time that to see if there's an imbalance from sort of one side of the chain to the other side of the chain. Again, I bet I guarantee you, someone who just checks or there's a lot of one leg will be sort of weaker probably in that one chain from one side to the other. Right, something we're, we're working on a lot is hips, as I mentioned before. So, <laughs> nice hip one. Oh. Okay, leg up, leg raises. Okay, up and down, up and down. So it's great because it's stabilizing on this hip, working, working this hip. Okay, so once someone can once someone can get nice and strong here, nice exercise using using gravity basically, rather than sort of obviously you can do it here, but better with, with, with gravity sort of um, against you, doing it in the side plank. <laughs> We're at the stage now in the academy that virtually every player now is, the, is doing a resisted resisted push down. So they've, they've got a leg up high in a scissor and they push down up, push down up, trying to really strengthen it. That's the sort of, we've, you know, we've been working on this hip, hip strength and hip control for a long time now. And I think, you know, the level we're at in some of the exercises is, 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 pretty, is pretty good, really. And, you know, the guys can see it. Uh, the other one, yeah, I know, like one of those layer, um, you may all be doing this. We do a lot, standing on one leg, uh, kicking floppies, whether it's front kick, you know, um, hook, or basically doing 10, 20 reps standing on one leg to work in. Because obviously you've got strength you need to, to check and push off, off this hip, but you also need the strength in the other hip. Okay? So we do a lot, there's a lot of that again. In that, that's thrown sort of after the warm up, before we go into the kick in, maybe at the end of sessions you can do it. But it's just little, just again, the little things. So we've got a lot of them have it in their sort of individual sessions. So if anyone's weak, that's their individual, so you'll see at the end of the end of the session, they'll go over and they're, and they're, and they're doing their individual um, hip, hip control, whether it be on the floor, whether it be a bit more functional, doing the kicking. Um, obviously, from a plyometric point of view, taking it on a little bit further, you can actually do hopping, okay? So you're actually moving people around in that position. It's great because you're getting the, again, you're not looking for people sinking, but we're getting a little plyometric, sort of low-level plyometric here, and you're also getting the hip control as well. So just up and down the line, um, hopping, is it, you know, is, is it, is it, that's, a, that's a nice little exercise as well. Um, one minute, sort the old notes. Oh yeah, uh, acceleration, deceleration, okay. So again, apologies if you all do this, into the, into the sort of back end of your warm up, we're looking at change of direction being key, okay. So if Josh is just going up and down, yeah, and I'm going to say change direction, change, sorry, that's it, sorry, my backwards, all of that, my apologies. Okay, change, 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 and press. Okay, so real simple drills, but from a Taekwondo point of view, we've got to be able to, we've got to be able to change direction, okay, if he goes, if he goes uh, lateral, okay, same thing, nice, nice wide stance, nice wide stance, change, change, change. Change. Again, something dead simple, but you're getting a lot of sort of bang for your buck. You're getting a lot of, you get a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, that, that, that's, that's almost like a strength, that'd be like a strength exercise for some people. Yeah, strength exercise, if someone's doing it, and again, look at the mechanics, look at, does it again, look at his torso, no pressure, okay, uh, back, 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 back. change, okay, change, change. Okay, his torso's good, okay, well that's, you'll, you'll see your guys, when you say change direction, they'll, they'll do this, okay, when you say change direction, they'll, they'll do this, okay, that's not stiff, generally if you remind someone, they'll stiffen themselves up, if there is a real weakness there, that's when you, obviously your, your homework comes in, but 
look for stiffness in the upper body. When they're moving around, kicking and trying to evade, they've got to be stiff. Nice little drill, same with the lateral. If someone's sort of really floppy, that's not all we want to get them, get them, get them, get them stiff and up. Any questions, any burning questions that people have got, I'm quite happy to.